What's up everyone? Welcome to the Dual Sport Disport YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you like what you see today, make sure you subscribe. I just left South Dakota this morning, the Black Hills, and now I'm down here in Colorado, Northern Colorado, hitting up some Forest Service roads. Just got camp set up and trying to get a ride in. Hopefully it doesn't rain on me here. What I am gonna talk about today is why you need a dual sport bike no matter where you're at in your riding career whether you want to keep a motocross bike or whatever but why you need a dual sport in general i just showed up to colorado this morning and they require a trail permit just like everywhere else well this is a, a nice area um, so yeah, they require a trail permit, so I had to go get it today. If you're ever in Fort Collins area looking for the trail permit, it's at Jack's was where I got it. Heart attack, Will. Wow. So, and when he was hooking me up with this sticker, he's like, is it a plated bike? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, because I can only do plated bikes. And I'm like, well, I don't know what that's all about. But yeah, it's it's fully plated. It came street legal from the factory. So he's like, oh, oh, no problem. And I'm at a campground across the street. But the other day I was like, wow. Whoo. The other day I was like three miles off where I needed to get on the trail. Actually, it was like closer to 20. That's sort of the one trail I did. Oh, this is nuts. I can't believe this is open to all vehicles. This is a anyone can use trail. That is crazy. So, but I had to ride on the road. And in a lot of areas, in order to do that, you have to be fully street legal. There's no little exceptions like there used to be. It used to be something like, even in areas where there's private property, it used to be, no one would say anything. Now, everyone has a problem with everything. Wow, this is crazy. Wonder if I should have done the bypass. I'm gonna get back to my story in a second here. You just can't do it like you used to. That's it for me right there. Wow. That is crazy. Pretty high up there. The crazy thing is I gotta get down now. I'm hoping that goes good. Cause I'm out here solo. I, I'm gonna walk this thing up. I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, I decided I'm just gonna go down instead. Oh, I really hope this goes good. I got it in first. But yeah, you, so you need a, a bike that you can just take off from anywhere. Out here in Colorado, to my knowledge last, if you're out here on a, a bike that is not street legal and you're on forest service roads, it's a ticket. Holy shit. So yeah, it's a ticket, and then it kind of defeats the whole purpose of like where you're trying to camp at or whatever. So you, you need it for that reason. And to give you a little background real quick, I came from like, you know, growing up riding motocross like a lot of people did. And then now I'm like 31 years old and I wanted to do other things like this type of adventure riding, still ride motocross, still do big jumps, and have a bike that I can just do everything with and that's gonna last and something that I don't have to have three different bikes. Maintaining three different bikes is a little bit of work. This thing, I'm on a Husky 501, FE 501, so you know, I'm saying you need a dual sport bike. It all depends on what you're trying to do. 
But mainly what I want to talk about is the actual, what I'm calling a dual sport, like a dirt bike dual sport. Because yeah, I mean, I have a KLR 650 and that thing is cool, whatever. But that's more so like for going to Alaska. And so are these, but this you can do everything with. I'm out here doing some double track, but the other day I was doing some single track over in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I rode the bike right from camp. Then I rode out to Mount Rushmore. That was awesome. I did like 40 miles of, or actually it was probably like 60 miles of, of road. Windy curves. It was actually pretty cool. But that's where the dual sport is just awesome. It was beautiful going through those turns. A lot of fun. And can you still do stuff like, if you have a Honda CRF450L, or a KTM 500EXC, or an FE501, or probably some of those betas, and I'm probably missing a few other brands that have like good dual sports. Pusaberg's used to, pretty good. 510, a little sputter there. I think my jetting's off for up here. It's probably really rich because I'm at like 9,000 feet. Well, that's another thing too. I got a tuner on this bike, and what the tuner allows me to do is change that on the fly. If I wanted to, I could pop the seat off right now with one bolt and leave this thing out some. And I might do that, because I'm getting pretty high up here in elevation. So, but yeah, this is a 501, applicable to the 450Ls and stuff. I'm racing motocross with this bike. At least I did last year. I came out of a 30 year hiatus. Dang, look at that one. It goes all the way up. I'm gonna pause, I wanna check my map. All right, I decided I'm gonna go up here. I think it just goes to the top of this mountain. So if it's not too crazy, I'll ride up and check out the view. I can see snow already. But yeah, I'm racing motocross with this. I was last year. I did four races. Holy cow. I don't know. I did four races last year. And out of four motos, I pulled the whole shot and Wow, I'm like sketchy. Holy cow. Woo, this is the highest I've been on a bike. Oh my God. I just pray I can get down safely. It's all downhill from here almost. <laughs> so I pulled the whole shot and I've led every lap. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that to show the capability of the bike. I am far from a good rider. I mean, I'm at my prime, I was like a, I guess middle B class type of rider. Wow. That's amazing. And just think, I only have one bike in the van and that's this one. And I'm able to do this. And tomorrow if I wanted, I could go to the motocross track. I have this bike set up a little bit. I'll, uh, I'll kind of show you real quick. I got a few seconds, a few minutes. Doesn't matter how long it takes. <laughs> but this is, you know, something that I would say applies to the 450L and the other bikes I mentioned, this 501, is this is a do-it-all bike. Like this bike can do every single thing you want it to do and then more. I finally the other day was riding at the track at a local track and the guy's got a freestyle ramp, Trevor Vines, he was a former freestyle rider if you ever heard the name, did X Games and stuff. And he's got some freestyle ramps set up out there and I hit one for the first time. I never hit one before and on this 501 I hit that freestyle ramp and it was a pretty good gap. I'm hitting a second gear, pretty good throttle. But it's awesome. The versatility is just amazing. So I have different forks. I have like motocross style forks on here. They're a 4CS. They're not the best fork, but they're decent. Gotta catch my breath, it's high up here. 
I also have a shock off of a 450 SXF bike that um, I decided to go with a separate setup so that way if I wanted a lighter setup I could just swap it back and I'm like oh maybe when I'm doing adventure riding I'll just put the lighter forks on <laughs> or the softer forks but I'm like I, I actually like it the way it is because I can do whatever. I'm still rocking an 18 inch rim. And this is how I'm racing the bike. I'm racing it with the 18 inch rim and the Kenda Trackmaster tires. And everybody talks about, you know, you need this and that and you need a pipe and you need a setup. And yeah, you do need a few things, but it's mostly the rider and not the bike. Wow, this view is amazing. I can't get enough of this Colorado riding. I've been out here twice now and it just is amazing if you have never ridden colorado make sure you get out here and that's why this bike is the ultimate bike comment below if you agree with me if you don't agree with me what dual sports are good for you and to me this 501 i'm kind of biased because i own it and it's the only dual sport i've ridden but i can do everything with this i've jumped it over 100 feet i have another channel playlist on that check the dual sport and moto playlist out i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope you all are helped out with this talk about dual sports and why you need one like and subscribe hopefully you're tuned in for the next one